So what is up everyone, Jay Flores here and for today's episode, I will share with you the vlogging setup. Ko. Now, this is a vlogging setup, ha. hindi itong talking head or YouTube setup. Ko. I'm gonna do a different video of that, a cheap versus expensive YouTube setup. Today, I'm gonna share to you my vlogging setup which is a full frame vlogging setup and I think this is by far not the most affordable but this is one of the best entry vlogging, full frame vlogging setup setup that you want to have. Why full frame? Full frame because number one, the quality is way better than other sensors like the Micro Four Thirds, APS-C, and whatnot. Number two, more depth of field. Meaning, kung gusto nyo mga bokeh bokeh yung compression, yung blurrier background, that is also one of the things but gusto ka mag full frame. And another thing is the dynamic range, meaning kung gabi yung highlights or blown out na yung highlights more shadows, you can still recover that when you are shooting on full frame. Now, if you are a casual vlogger, kung gusto mo yung mga ganon, this is not really advisable or hindi to a must. Kung casual vlogging ka lang, but if you want to step up or elevate your vlogging game, you should get a full frame camera. And the last thing, why full frame is it is much wider than APS-C. Say, walang crap. Wala lahat. And I think those are some good reasons but magbablog ka ng full frame. Next, I'm gonna share my gear. For my main camera, the full frame camera, which I am using right now, this is the Sony A7C. This is by far the most compact full frame camera, which is just perfect for vlogging kasi ayaw mo talagang mangala yung yung ano mo. Ang tawag dito? Kung sa Bisaya, bukton. Yung, yung arms mo. So you need a smaller body and matches with, well, later on I'm gonna talk about my lens. So that's the reason number one is Sony A7C is full frame but it has an APS-C body. Number two, great, great battery life because it is using probably the NPF Z100, if I'm not mistaken. So, medyo malaki laki na yon. You could shoot up to 2 to 4 hours if 4K, if HD lang 1080p, medyo mas malawak yung mas shoot. Mo. It has a mic jack. Everyone needs a mic jack when it comes to vlogging to enhance the audio. By the way, before I forget, before we move on, again, I am shooting usually when I just do vlogs, like yung vlog vlog lang. I only use 1080p, pero from time to time, 4K ako. And I shoot at profile picture HLG2. Tapos BT 2020 Tapos I convert ko yan to Rec 709 And by far I think this is the best profile picture If you are using an 8-bit camera Kasi if you are doing s log noisy siya Because you have that minimum Minimum? Minimum ISO So yun HLG2 BT 2020 Converted to Rec 709 During post Processing. Next, it is very good in low light, especially if you are shooting, yun nga, pagabi na. Sony's are very known when shooting in low light. And last, but not the least, the most important thing when you are vlogging is this camera has a flip screen, flip out screen, which is just perfect kasi makikita mo yung framing mo, makikita mo yung sarili mo. So that is my full frame vlogging camera, the Sony A7C. Let's talk about the lens. Next, I'm using the Tamron 17 to 28. This is somewhat a budget friendly for a full frame lens. Brand new, this is around 40. Nag increase na sila ngayon, ah. I think 43,000 na yata, brand new. Compared to the 16 to 35 2.8 G Master, this is probably half the price or even more. Kasi ang sobang mahalon, I think 100 plus thousand. I Casual full frame vlogging, this lens is enough. It is very, very wide. 17 is wide enough for vlogging. And medyo bitin siya when you are zooming in at 28 but I forgot to mention yung Sony A7C is meron siyang crop mode with just one button so gusto mo mas tighter yung shots mo you could just turn that on so you could just convert your full frame sensor into an APS-C sensor so that is my lens and for my microphone I am using the Mirfac N2 which is again just perfect since it is plug and play very very light and the sound quality is really really great for its price point and the last thing no second to the last thing that you will need when you are doing vlogging is of course a selfie stick. I'm using the ever popular, yung pinaka solid talaga, Joby Gorilla Pod. Because this one's very versatile. It is robust. Well, in the long run, medyo it will loosen up. Pero that is in the long run. Matagal-tagal pa yan. Gustong gusto ko tong Joby na to. Kasi again, it is very flexible, versatile. Kahit saan mo ilalagay, kahit sa kahoy, sa railings. And you can also use this as your mini tripod. Kung gusto mo mag-live, lagay mo lang sa desktop mo and then you are good to go. And the last thing that 
you will definitely need is an VND and VND. A VND or a variable ND filter. So you could obtain that 180 degree rule, meaning times two yung shutter speed mo sa frames per second. Mo. An ND filter is just basically a somewhat sunglasses sa lente mo. So you should invest on an ND filter. So I think that is it for my vlogging setup again this is just a vlogging setup ha? hindi ito yung youtube setup ko because i think i haven't made a formal video of my gears talaga when it comes to youtube or this talking head setup right here which i'm gonna do some soon a cheap versus expensive version kumbaga. so i hope may natutunan kayo sa episode na to and again if you are planning on stepping up your vlogging game please do invest on a full frame camera and these other gears that i have mention and your quality will be for sure times 100 or times 10 better than what you are used of. Basta, gusto mo lang talaga mag full frame, wala na akong mag-recommend pang iba kundi itong Sony A7C. So that's it. God bless. Stay safe. Peace.